but all happened a few years back. I was just a simple taxi driver. No Yamai, no cons, nothing like that. So you really were an honest cabbie, once? Yeah, well, I also wasn't rich, but I was happy. I had a woman to love, and man, did she love me. I believe we almost had a kid. And looking back, those were the best days of my life. Huh, never knew you had a family. And my girl, her name was Marie. She was astounding. And you guys would love her. Anyway, she was nearly six months pregnant when it happened. And the cops showed up at our place with a warrant for my arrest. They came to arrest you? For what? They said I held up a cab and stole a bunch of money from some executive. What the hell? I was being framed, obviously. But the witnesses kept pouring in. And before I knew it, the judge gave me five years in prison. And the attorney had told me if I tried pleading innocent, they'd lock me for 15 years instead. So you pled guilty then? Yeah. It was... Either I swallow the five years, or take the risk and triple it. And I was too broke to hire a better lawyer. It was like a nightmare I couldn't wake up from. I have my whole life ahead of me, and then in an instant, I was gone. <sighs> I never even understood why. That is, till I got to prison. Turns out I wasn't the only one screwed over like this. They told me so themselves. You mean, the guys in prison? Yeah. Apparently, the Barracudas get away with so much shit because their boss will set up innocent people instead. They'll bring in a bunch of fake witnesses or buy out the police if he has to. You remember Roman, that cop Jeff mentioned? He's the guy pulling the strings on the law side. <sighs> Seems not a lot's changed since then. So the Barracudas have the police in their pocket. Uh, how'd Marie take it? When I got locked up, she only came to see me once. She told me she miscarried. No. And she was under so much stress. Should have seen it coming. I doubt she was eating right or getting any sleep. Her eyes were sunken. She was thin as a bone. All because this bullshit that happened to me. And that was the last I saw of her. When I got out, I couldn't find a single trace of her. Honestly, I just hope that she's out there doing okay. I told you this wasn't gonna be fun. And that's only half the story. Once I was free, I started hanging by this fancy restaurant in District 5. Why? Because word inside was that it was the favorite haunt of the Barracuda's boss. So I spent every last cent I had to my name bought a gun. Shit. For revenge? For Marie. For a child who never had a chance at life. I knew what the boss looked like. I'm not sure anymore how long it took, but I kept watching until the day he showed his face. When I was locked up, I always imagined it going the exact same way. I rushed past his goons, stepped right up to him, and Empty my whole clip, point blank. And the moment came. I was shaken. Couldn't move. <sighs> he even had fewer guards than I'd pictured. Should have been easy. Bastard walked right past me. He didn't have a care in the world. I'm a fucking coward. Maybe. But that's why you're alive today. If you'd gone through with it. You would have been killed. Just another gutted corpse. At least I'd have been killed for a reason! What am I now? A ghost? Who robs tourists with a gun he hasn't got the courage to shoot? Isn't it better to die for something than to live for nothing? Tomisawa. With all my money gone, I fell in with Yamai to pay my debts. He's the only man left in Hawaii still stupid enough to compete with the Barracudas. What's that say about me, huh? 
I'm even stupider for following him. Maybe I was hoping he'd be able to take them down someday. But I knew it'd never happen. So that's my story. Hope you realize now who you're dealing with. Not just the Barracudas. With scum like me. Well, you sure set us straight about how bad the Barracudas can get. Yeah. Their ties with the police are worrying. But listen. You've got yourself all wrong, Tomizawa. Huh? You're not a bad guy. And you're no coward. I saw you walk away from Yamai. That took real courage. He might have killed you, but you knew it was the right thing to do. Come on, man. You talked me into it. That doesn't matter. You made the decision. It was your call. Nobody else's. Now, no more robbing people, okay? Can we agree on that? <laughs> yeah. Huh. After all you've been through, I get that this may be a fight you want to walk away from. But if you really think you're scum, that you're just another criminal, this might be the only way to change that. A way to start living again. <sighs> Look, killing the boss of the Barracudas or not, that's another call you'll have to make yourself. All I know is that I'm not gonna stand by and let them keep getting away with their shit. And if you're up for it, I know you'll be able to help us take them down. <laughs> you want me? <laughs> if you haven't noticed, our English is pretty rough. We could use a translator. Besides that, we need to find Akane-san fast. That means going to District 5. And I don't know anybody as well acquainted with the Hawaiian underworld as you. Help us out, and maybe get the chance to set things right. Not a bad deal, is it? What do you think, Kiryu-san? Hmm. Maybe dangerous. But it could also be your one path to redemption. <laughs> you two are some lousy salesmen, honest. If you're still planning to take the Barracudas on after all you've heard... We are. Then fine. I'll go with you. Do-gooders like you? The Barracudas will eat you alive without me. Yeah. <laughs> eat you alive. I get it. <laughs> Glad to have you on board, Tomizawa. You're both nuts. Fine. First things first. We find Roman. You have a good eye for teammates. <laughs> it's not hard to tell when someone needs a friend. Let's do this.